Hello. So most of us are going to be spending time, at least part of the time, playing djembe in this class. And so I wanted to go over a little bit more in detail about this drum. So for starters, djembe is a West African drum. Uh, it's goblet shaped. Uh, normally it's a wooden shell with rope tension and an animal skin head. And we are going to be using, for multiple reasons, we're going to be using synthetic head drums like this one. Um, but either way, uh, the playing techniques are going to be the same. Uh, so we're going to start with uh, thing number one. When you play, make sure you're sit sitting tall and uh, not slouching and not favoring one side or the other. Feet planted firmly on the ground for starters. You want to roll up your sleeves to make sure that the cloth right at your wrist is not going to get in the way of your strokes. Next thing you do is you pull the drum in close, and if you can see, I'm actually wrapping my legs around in front. You should be able to kind of steer the drum like this fairly easily without feeling like you're going to lose it. Now those big djembes are going to be a little harder to wrangle, which are the why I got those stands for you. So those the two big djembes will actually have a little base that you can put it on. But everything else, you want to make sure it's tilted. Here's why. When the drum is flat on the floor, the drum, the air inside the drum can't circulate, and so the drum can't speak because it can't breathe. So if I play on the drum with it flat on the floor, it sounds like that. If I play on the drum and I gradually tilt it so it can breathe, listen to this. All right, it's causing stuff in the room to buzz. It's, it's, that, it's that much of a difference. So you want to make sure you keep it tilted. Just a, an inch or so off the ground is, is plenty. Um, and you want to make sure that you're squeezing with your knees, please. And the next thing you do is, so the drum should be tilted away from you. So if I put a little droplet of water right here, it should roll away from you. Um, and this also makes it so that the, the drum contours nicely with your hand, right? So that it kind of matches on this side. So there are three basic strokes that we're going to use on the djembe and all the other drums. But specifically, uh, these are designed around djembe technique, and we just adapt them for the others. The three basic strokes are, ba they translate to low, medium, and high, as in deep, middle, and high pitched. And so our lowest one, we're going to take a flat palm. Now this is where I have to mention, I have some hand issues that make my hands look a little different than the way I'm going to ask you to play. I want you to imagine that your hand is uh, like a canoe paddle, right? So you don't want to let, don't want to let any water pass through your fingers as you're trying to push through the water. And so when you play all of these tones, except for the uh, the last one, uh, we want to keep our fingers together. So fingers together, and your thumb can be kind of relaxed and at, at the side. But for our first sound, the low sound, which is called a bass, bass, you want to. Imagine just playing with the, the circular part of your palm, and you want to get as deep a sound as you can, and that is accomplished by playing in the center. So just play that with me. Ready? Go. Other hand. Ready? Go. Now we're going to alternate. Ready? Go. Again, ready, go. Now we're going to double the speed. Ready, and go, and. Again, ready, and go, and. Make sure you're alternating. Keep going. Two, again, keep your hands moving up so that the hand doesn't muffle the drum. So here's a way you don't want to play it, like this. All right, so imagine that there is anti-gravity happening. So that's bass. That's our lowest sound. That's our deepest sound. Sometimes I'll, I'll call it a thud. If we're talking about conga playing, uh, the middle of the drum on this conga, for example, right here, I call it more of a thud and less of a boom. Right. But either way, we're going for the deepest sound. The next sound is going to be our kind of our middle and our glue type sound. And this one we play out at the edge. So if you imagine these knuckles right here that you use, you know, if you were you're going to clock somebody, these knuckles are going to line up vertically with the edge of the drum. So the part 
that curves around and goes from you know the up part to the across part is we're gonna line our knuckles up with that and you want to keep this is one where definitely do what I say not what I do because of my hand problems but uh, you want to keep your fingers together and you want to have more of a dit 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 sound right so we want a dry meaty middle sound try with the other hand too ready and To other hand and go and one two ready and go and All right so that's tone so we have bass and then let's try that again so we're gonna do four tones and then the clave rhythm on the uh, I'm sorry four bass and then the clave rhythm on the tone one Two and ready and go and one, two, three, four. Again, nice and deep. I'm going to turn to the side. So that was our medium sound. Now we're going to add the last one. And uh, the last one is out on the edge, but this is where we do separate our fingers. And this one's called a slap. And this is where, uh, again, I'll use my fist to help demonstrate, but we want the, the fingers to kind of follow through, right? And we want more of a wide open uh, ka sound, right? So we get dit, 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 ka, 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 right? A little bit more um lively and a little sharper sound don't worry if your tone and your slap don't sound terribly different that's just something to keep in mind as you work on it slaps take a while to develop all right so we're gonna play we're gonna we're gonna speed up the rhythm a little bit here for the slaps and we're gonna go like this one two ready go Ready and go and one, two, ready, go. So right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Again, two, ready, and okay. So now we're gonna do the bass rhythm, the tone rhythm, and the slap rhythm. We're gonna loop those. Here we go. And actually, let's do this. Let's go bass rhythm, tone rhythm, slap rhythm. Tone rhythm, so we have a, a four. Um, uh, we have four different pockets within this cycle. Here we go. One, two, ready, bass. One, two, three, four. One. One, two, three, four. So bass, 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 bass. Tone, 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 tone. Slap. djembe uh, whether it's the small djembe or the large djembe they're all going to have the same techniques and the cajon conga and darbuka techniques and tubano techniques are all going to be based 
off of the similar type of idea of middle is low, edge is high. So I hope this was helpful and stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you in class.